So we are in Las Vegas at Consumer Electronics Show, CES 2020. And uh, we're presenting our new electric vehicle. It's a luxury electric SUV called the Fisker Ocean. So what's unique in this vehicle is we do have a very large screen, but it kind of is bent and flows in to some hard buttons down here. We got these big buttons up here, but we have actually created these five haptic, haptic buttons that kind of runs out of the screen. And it's the five buttons you use most. It's fan speed to get temperature up and down. It's the temperature, home button, find, search, and volume. Because when you drive a car and it's, you know, the road it might be a little bumpy, you want to be able to quickly reach out to something. We also have a small screen here in front of the driver where we can just see, you know, basic information like speed, maybe the charging, etc. And then of course we've got a few buttons on the steering wheel as well. What's really unique about the interior is the sustainability of this interior. It is fully uh, vegan interior, but we also use a lot of recyclable uh, uh, parts in this material. So all the carpets in this material is made from uh, recyclable waste from the ocean. Got a really interesting pattern. We got an interesting pattern up here, like a paramedic pattern, which is for the loudspeakers uh, to give it kind of a high quality feeling. Something that also is unique is the way that the white trim flows down in front of the window and flows up again. So we have tried to create this very simple yet luxurious interior. Down here, you can actually put like a, a woman's purse or some other stuff down here because we don't have, normally you have air conditioning units or other things down here in the center console. We have moved all that out in the front of the vehicle, fixed the hood in the front of the vehicle because you don't really need to get under the hood. There's no oil to change or anything like that. So I think the way most companies today are working is you want to make everything ready as autonomous features start uh, getting more and more prominent. It probably will take many, many years until we get to the highest level of autonomy. This vehicle, we have all the hardware that's necessary. We've got two radars out in the front, a middle range and a short range. We got nine cameras. So we got everything that is ready and we, will, we are aiming to be sort of state of the art, what's available out there. We don't really want to take huge risk at this point in time. We're not going to develop our own autonomous features. We want to work together with partners to do that because I think ultimately this is going to be a very regulated area where you're going to want to have very reliable technology that you can implement and make fe people feel safe, uh, that it really works, it's been tested. Um, so I think it's important to have some big partners that are spending billions of dollars in this area. So the California mode is about having fun and creating utility at the same time. So the idea is that you can roll down all the windows and normally you can just roll down the two windows on each side, which is the door, but there's also a third window that goes down as well. And then there's the rear hatch window that also goes down. And then of course the roof opens up. So it's kind of nine glass panels that opens and it gives you kind of that open convertible feeling, but still driving in a very safe, strong SUV. So the starting price is $37,499. After the federal tax credit, it's actually $29,999 in the US, which I think is very attractive, uh, as good as any gasoline car. Uh, but we also offer a flexible lease where you can lease it for $379 a month, $2,999 down. And we do it all through our Fisker app. And you can go in there, order the car for $250. But the point of this is when somebody gives back the car, we will deploy it back out. So we, in this model, we are not really encouraging anybody to keep changing their car every year, every two year, which is normal in the car industry, because we have a reoccurring revenue. We don't just do a one-time sale where we need you to go and buy another car in two years. And we think long term, that's a lot more sustainable. So if we create a high quality car that we can keep putting out, we service it, we make the maintenance, we're not throwing away cars. We deploy them on different levels to people, depending on the affordability. And after maybe eight or 10 years, we can take the car back and recycle it. Everything around this vehicle, it's a real vehicle, it's not just a show car.